December 11, 1898. Something nasty is going down in Austria-Hungary. And no, it doesn't involve Franz Ferdinand in any way. In the western part of the country, tucked away in the middle of the Alps, are a group of bundled up birds known as the Schnabelperschen. They estivate throughout the warmer months in their village of Perstom der Rauris, only waking once fall breaks back into winter. At January's start, the Pershts visit the local townsfolk and either give them gifts if they've been hardworking and kept things clean, or disembowel and stuff them with straw if they've slacked off big time. It's a tough yet fair system that's been an unbreakable tradition for hundreds of years. Until now. This is Maria Katharina Trina Berger, the 55-year-old doctor and herbalist of the Perchts. Making sure that her fellow fowl are healthy and stable before and shortly during their estivation she always ends up being the last to settle up and start slumbering. But she's also the last to awaken, and it might have saved her bacon. After coming out of her estivation, she gets dressed, grabs her tools, and heads out to take count of her fellow flock. However, as she descends down the slopes, she notices signs of a struggle and subsequent battle in the local area. The sight of ransacked houses and dead beings confirm her worst fears. Something attacked her village while she was sleeping. While assessing the damage, she finds Auguste, a perched guard, slumped on a bedroom wall with multiple injuries. She is fortunately still alive and quite shocked that Trina is here. Trina treats her wounds and, while doing so, learns what happened while she was slumbering. Everything was going well until the 28th of November, when a strange beam of dark light shot out from the peak of Mount Korsklokna. Soon after this incident, a legion of creatures, bone hounds, tonsilworms, and harpies, descended from the mountain. They proceeded to capture the local humans and kobolds, quickly turning them into their expendable grunts. When word got out, the village's matriarch felt a sense of overwhelming danger and quickly organized a mass evacuation of the local area. A gang of guards were sent to assist and protect, though most of them would go missing one way or another. The Pershts themselves had mostly fled when the village was attacked, so casualties on their end was thankfully low. And in the midst of all this chaos, a rumor spread that Trina had died in her sleep. That's why nobody woke her up. Angered, Trina tells Auguste that she'll personally deal with the bastards who threw this land into chaos and walks away. Auguste worriedly advises against it, that she should join the military gathering of troops in the east. But Trina's already made up her mind. At home, she grabs a map of the local area, her trusty basket, some rations, and a handful of throwing axes. It's time for some aggressive alpinism. Hello, my name is Shallow. This is Austrian Avian Association, an uh, episode length total conversion for Doom 2, inspired by Austrian folklore. <laughs> uh, looks pretty cool. This won a CAC award. So, uh, pretty excited about it. This was already on my radar just because the theme of it is really cool. And then it won a CAC award and I was like, yes. Yes, now I have to play it. <laughs> Let's go. How lethal are you? Uh, Blue Jay, Brooding Hen, Eagle, Cassowary, Quetzalcoatlus. Um, let's go with Cassowary. We'll see how that, how that plays out for us. Yeah! Oh, look at my adorable little bird goblin face. <laughs> nice. Uh, this is based on... Oh. oh, I got a little bird voice. Yes! Hang on, wait, 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 wait. 
<gasps> yeah, and I have a third person model. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, I was not previously familiar with uh, the uh, Perchten that this is based on. That's a. It seems to be a, a thing pretty specific to a fairly small region of Austria. But uh, something about it, just the <laughs> the general vibe is kind of familiar to me. It's it's a it's a very Germanic sort of thing. I feel like. Hello, look at you, man! I have butchered some kind of <laughs> demonic creature in here. I don't know. Every every like German children's story, I oh wine. Nice. They, they've all got like a... Wasn't there wine in here? Maybe I drank it already. There's like a moral lesson and stuff to it, but it's all kind of horrific as well. Look at that little bear head on the rug. Wow. <laughs> I don't want to leave this house. This is, this is comfy. This is way too good. Just gonna... I'm just gonna chill in here. Now nah, we gotta go see what's uh, what's going on in the village. Hello, more axes. Can't go in the outhouse. Okay. Oh, Bureau von Dr. M. K. Berger. Fantastic. I don't think these are all custom textures, but the ones that are there are really neat. I love this music. It's <laughs> this is great. I feel like I'm playing Stardew Valley. Can't go in the cellar. Oh, these are throwing axes. I was, I was kind of wondering why am I picking up more axes? Does that mean? Oh, yep. Sure enough. Huh. Hello. Ooh, he's got axes too. Axe fight! Yeah. Nothing behind the waterfall. Should I go down the river? Oh, it doesn't matter. It all connects up. Okay. Could go in the cave, though. Freeze my little bird feet off in the cold water. I have a feeling that's probably just gonna connect up again as well, isn't it? Ugh. What's going on here? Oh no, it's one of my little bird friends. I think. Maybe? If I'm reading that sprite right, those are some little bird feet there. Um. <laughs> Bad news, Tina. You've got poor eyesight. You can't read the signs, everything's pixelated. Hello? Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's got a gun. I suppose, what is this, late 1800s? I guess guns are around. Oh. Ooh. All right, I got a... Uh, that's cool. Holy shit. Hang on, is that? That's not a skybox, is it? That's you've actually built out all this stuff in the world. That, that must be the the village down there. That's awesome! Holy shit! <laughs> this is beautiful. Oh my god! Oh. So is this? Yes, it is a shotgun. I wasn't sure if it was a rifle or a shotgun. It appears to be a lever-action shotgun. These guys don't drop ammo. That's too bad. So I think I will have to depend on my throwing axes quite a bit. Yep. Nope. Oh. Interesting to give the player a... Uh, projectile weapon as their slot one 
their their pistol replacement. That's I don't see that a whole lot. Hmm. Is there anything down here? Oh, I can't actually go down there. Um, let me backtrack a bit because there was a, another path I could have taken up here, right? It probably just meets back up again with where I just was, but just in case. Yeah, down here. What's down here? It does, in fact, just meet up again here. Oh! What did that do? Ooh! Oh! Indiana Jones. Invisible uh, bridge there. A large back basket. Map of the local area. Oh, and another dead bird friend. Is that, uh... Oh yeah, that is the auto map power-up. Nice. Man, that is a big map. That, uh... Where's the village? Is that it there? That must be the village. That, that geometric thing over there. Alright, well, we've got a long way to go, so... Let's not dawdle. Excuse me? <laughs> oh no, where am I now? Check the map. Uh, it did just kind of meet back up again with the path I was on. Alright. Oh! <laughs> Hiding in the darkness. Rude. What did that do? Did that close? The oh! Axe fight! What did the switch do? Oh, there's a gun guy again. Oh! Stop it! Oh, it does open that. Okay. Is that just where I came from? Yeah, it's another path to the same secret. Alright. Cool, so you can get to this uh, from both sides, I guess. Neat. What's, uh... Down this way. I guess we keep heading downhill, huh? Is that the... <laughs> These guys at least drop axes when you kill them, so I kind of... Feel like that's the way to go, is just keep using your axes. At least you get ammo for them back. Ooh! Oh, my stupid big bird head. Gee, why does mom let you have two shotguns? <laughs> Hold still. Oh! Got him. Is that armor? Leather armor, yep. Man, I was getting lucky with that guy not hitting me. It looks like they're not limited to one shot at a time the way Doom zombies are. Okay, these guys at least drop ammo. Which uh, slot is that on? It's on two. Okay, it's kind of like a pistol upgrade, I guess. It's interesting to have two tiers of shotgun enemies. One with a regular shotgun and one with two shotguns. <laughs> I'm worried about... Oh, look at them all coming through that ravine there. If there's a uh, chain gunner replacement in this, I'm worried he's going to have just like three shotguns. Like that, that One Piece guy with the three swords. <laughs> yep, 
you. <laughs> I really like the way the forest, the, the tree line has been done up there. <laughs> Just a, a flat face of trees. <laughs> That is kind of what it's like in certain areas. You just have a... <laughs> where the forest starts, it's just all of a sudden... Springing up out of nowhere, a solid mass of trees. Ooh. I wonder where the voice lines are from. I don't recognize those. I wonder if those have been done uh, just for this total conversion, or if they're ripped from like a, a a German game or a German dub of Hexen or something. I don't know. I there's probably no <laughs> they they didn't dub Hexen in German. What am I talking about? <laughs> Pretty sure nobody speaks in Hexen. Oh. Is this the church? Oh my god, they're everywhere. I keep expecting that eventually I will have hit the end of this horde of enemies, but no, they're. They're all over the place. Oh, poor villagers. <laughs> Although, I guess if they had been uh, kind of lazy this winter, I was going to disembowel them all anyway, so... <laughs> Get out of here! Desecrating the graveyard, how dare you. Are they digging up the... Bodies? Some of these are empty. Look at that! I love that you can see the village from up here. Oh yeah, it doesn't show up on the map, so I guess... I guess we won't be visiting it. At least not in this map. It's just there, uh... To provide some visual interest, but boy, does it do a good job of it. Man. Oh! They're shooting me from inside the church! Yeah, you come out here. <laughs> all right. Are anyone still inside? I think they all probably came out. And got shot already. Man, look at this. Oh, there is a guy up there. <laughs> Shooting me right through the stained glass. Oh, I love all these custom textures. This is so cool. <laughs> this biblically accurate Jesus back here. <laughs> huh. It's an interesting addition to your church. Wonder if the uh, demons brought those along or if that's... <laughs> Let me know in the comments if that's a normal thing in Austrian churches. Maybe it is. Can I jump out the window? No. I can shoot through it, but not jump out. Uh, so I've got a key. What do I need that for? Hmm. Hmm. Does anything show up on the map as needing a key? Not that I can tell, but there is a path over here I haven't been to yet. Uh huh. <laughs> I like these little cellar doors. Even though you can't use them, there's nothing to do with those. It's just a nice little detail. That makes it feel like a real village. Oh, God. Okay. I'm back in countryside now. The exit. Yeah? 
There's that Bikshinsky painting again. I saw that in another map I played. I thought maybe it was a custom uh, bit of art the author put in, because I hadn't seen it before, but I've seen it twice now, and I'm starting to think it's probably part of some texture pack. <laughs> Tree growing in the uh, fireplace. Maybe this is an abandoned cabin of some kind. <laughs> the custom intermission screen is great, too. Look at that. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Oh, and a map. <laughs> no way. I love it when Doom mods have maps. I missed that in Doom 2. Zeidelwinkel Circus, let's go. No chainsaw behind us. Ugh, the demons have made a mess of this place, too. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, what are you? Oh, it's like a lizard man. <laughs> the, uh, the text file for this mod mentions kobolds. Um, which I think today especially among uh, certain groups of nerds, uh, you understand a kobold to be some kind of lizard monster. But uh, traditionally, that's not the case. <laughs> that's definitely something that D&D &D made up when they decided they needed to take every folklore creature ever and give it distinct stat blocks. Ooh. Harpies. Now, kobolds traditionally are the same thing as like fairies and leprechauns and goblins and all of that basically means the same thing. Just a mischievous little sprite of some kind. Ooh, so I don't think, I don't think the text file mentioning kobolds is in reference to these lizard monsters. I. I I'm sure those are separate entities. Oh. 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 Does he have a basket on his back? <laughs> All right. Well, stuff is pretty nasty over there. Let's, uh... Oh, I don't even have time to, like, read any of these signs or anything. Leave me alone. <laughs> the Fallenhaus, Betreed Verboten. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I can't Vertreet there even if it wasn't Verboten. I have to go find a key. Oh, thanks for killing that guy for me. Appreciate it. God, that is a lot of projectiles. Oh, dick! <laughs> All right, well, apparently I've been purified by a fallen priest. <laughs> Let's try that again. This gets pretty messy pretty fast. It's those lizard guys. The way they just spam axes is pretty bad. There, I can do it too. How about that? What is that? Oh, the box is throwing axes. Okay. I thought those would be for a rocket launcher type weapon. I guess in some ways this is a rocket launcher type weapon. It doesn't do any splash damage, but it is a slow firing projectile. It is kind of more like the rocket launcher to, than Doom's pistol. Fine. They're making me use the shotgun. I hope there's some health around here somewhere. Jeez. Oh, 
Oh, y'all got any more of that laudanum? Oh, there's a bunch of these. Okay. A Krampusling. Nice. I didn't know he had a projectile attack. I I saw the pitchfork in his hand. I thought he was a, a melee only enemy. So there is a little bottle of laudanum back here. I can fall back on if I need it. That's good. Definitely missed that last time. This uh, definitely took a sharp increase in difficulty <laughs> in map two. Man, how many axes can I carry? 80? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, the air is about 50% axis by volume right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, they're coming from this side too. Oh boy. Nope, 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 nope. Oh! All right. <laughs> this is rough. <laughs> I may need to bump the difficulty down. I'm always worried about uh, what the difficulty is going to be like anytime there are custom difficulty names. I assume the person who made the maps has taken the care to uh, ensure they actually have multiple distinct difficulties if they've gone through the trouble of naming them all separately. And if they've done that, that means they do intend for not everybody to, to be able to complete the uh, ultraviolence equivalent. And if that's their intention, that means their high difficulties are actually difficult. <laughs> So why did I go in on uh, the hardest difficulty? Have I not learned my lesson? No. No, I have not. I heard a shotgun. Where is he? There he is. Okay, I'm just gonna have to get good. Laudanum appears to be the medkit equivalent. Ooh, there's a map in there. Although at the moment, I haven't traveled a whole lot farther than right where I spawn in, so that's not... not terribly intriguing to me just yet. <laughs> Ooh. Gonna need a little bit of a little bit of health and ammo first, I think. Get out of here, bird. I mean, I'm also a bird, so no, you know. I'm not a weird imp bird with tits. <laughs> Gosh, at least I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. No. 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 God damn it. Give me some of this wine. Is that a Glühwein stand? Getränke? No, just just drinks in general. Here we go. Oh. Okay, well I've got a map now. That's a good place to drop a quick save. I think I've finally caught a little foothold here. 
Oh boy. <laughs> Got plenty of axes. Clear some of those guys out. What have we got here? Food, version. Stop it. And you. You stop it too. What is that? Oh. <laughs> Der Knochenhund. It's a bone hound. Here's the, this is the big circus tent, I guess. Must be. Let's see, there's a door on the other side here. Can I get inside of these cages? Oh, I can. Nice. Is there anything else for me in here? Hello? Sausage? More sausage, some axes. Hmm. Oh, the red key. Okay, cool. I don't know what I need that for yet, but uh, I guess I'll find out. Unless, wait a minute. No, I don't think. Ooh! Oh! I hate these things. <laughs> Get out of here. Gross, weird titty birds. More Krampus in here. Got him. Oh, there's another key. Oh, I got all kinds of keys. Just lousy with them. What are these? Hello card. Ah. All right, so let's go find the yellow key. Anything else in here? Uh, laudanum, which I don't need. Uh, what key was required for this door? Well, it's one I have. <laughs> here we go into the haunted house. Doing some urban exploration. Hmm. I love that the sausages are the uh, health potion replacement. <laughs> I can, uh, I can kind of imagine just like chugging down potions, but the idea of just eating a shitload of sausages is also hilarious. <laughs> Especially for a bird creature. Birds... don't typically eat uh, a, an automatic Mosin. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, not big sausage eaters, birds. I think typically they like seeds and stuff, right? Now there's some sinister business going on behind that door. Um, no, don't need anything here. All right. Well, into the dark basement, I guess. Ooh. That open a yeah. door upstairs. Kinda sounded like it. Yep. Hey! Why do you have your door connected to a big Frankenstein switch in the basement? Hmm? What's up with that? <laughs> oh, a TNT barrel. Oh. 
They look like the uh, Kakademon projectiles, don't they? But they feel a lot harder to dodge. <laughs> maybe it's just me, or maybe, uh, maybe they have been changed slightly. Anything up here? No, I don't think going up there does anything. All right, well, into the sub-basement, I suppose. Oh no, the crate is leaking. My crate of black goo. Oh. Uh, all right. Did that, that didn't get me anything. <laughs> Was that entirely optional? Hang on. Wait. There's something. Hello. That's an armor. And kind of a mirror. Oh, wait. Ooh, look, my reflection isn't moving. I don't know how well that's gonna show up. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, creepy. Creepy. All right. Well. Really? Is that an entirely optional house? It requires the blue key. Huh. All right. <laughs> sure. Why not? Let me grab this. Wine here. Hmm. Hello. If you don't mind, I'm trying to enjoy the uh, the festival. <laughs> Take a picture. Oh, there's a pole of heads. Yeah. <laughs> If, uh, if I didn't make that the thumbnail, that means I probably found something way cooler later in this map. <laughs> if I did make that the thumbnail, um, don't, don't click away. I promise there's still cool stuff. <laughs> you haven't seen the best thing yet. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's a crowded circus tent. Let's, uh, let's give this a try. Oh, yeah! Yeah! dead. A smoke bomb goes off. Oh, all right. Are these bone hounds placed in areas where uh, the other monsters are killing them with infighting, or are they dead on purpose? Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of you. Hmm. Ooh. Oh my god! It's a whole flock of titty birds! Oh! Oh no 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 no! Not like this! Horrifying. Get back! Back! I can't even see them up there. They are deep in the darkness. There's some on this side too. 
Yeah. Wait a minute. Did this bone hound fall off the trapeze? Is that <laughs> is that what happened here? <laughs> There's a rope across the stage. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> More axes? Um, what did I get out of this? Yellow key. Isn't that what I needed for that other switch? I think so. Look at this. Old pre-Mickey Mouse cartoons back there. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Is this a ring toss? It is a ring toss, yeah! Look at the rings. Nice. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I wanna I wanna I wanna test mine a cuffed. Yeah, yeah. I wanna test Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, hold on, do I Yeah <laughs> Medical cocaine Holy shit <laughs> Lena is the most hardcore Doom protagonist <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> Chugging down laudanum, gargling sausages, high on cocaine, throwing axes around. <laughs> uh, where was that switch? Over here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That open a big gate outside. Yep, yeah, it did. <laughs> I love that he gets impaled with his own pitchfork. That's hilarious. No, wait, wrong button. Aha. Still can't read the signs. Oh boy. Oh good, I thought I was going into the darkness. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, let's check out the rest of this next time. Um, this is really cool. <laughs> I love these, uh, I mean, total conversions in general are really neat, but this is a theme that kind of came out of nowhere. I would not have expected this, and it, it's simultaneously bizarre and, and strange, but also, like, cozy and, uh, kind of familiar. <laughs> I don't know, it reminds me of, reminds me of, uh, a lot of my childhood. <laughs> anyway. I'll see you again next time for more Austrian Avian Association. Until then, uh, take it easy. Bis nächstes Mal. Tschüss.